Alright, welcome back to The Walking Dead. Let's do this. I actually started recording before this. And then it just fucked, everything just fucked up. Clementine. Oh, fuck. Oh, I'm tired. Good. Oh, man. Oh, shit. I ain't never getting home to mama at this rate. Push. This sucks. Oh, it's hot dish night. What's the matter? Should I stay? What? I don't want to sleep in the treehouse tonight, but I don't know if I should leave. What if my parents come home? Sorry for the echo. I won't leave you alone. Well, let's go somewhere safe that's close, okay? That's a good idea. Hey, man! Holy shit! Don't eat us! We're not gonna hurt you. Yeah. Thought for a second you and the little one were both gonna give us the chomp. We need help. Are you trying to get out of here? Because you should be. Those things are all over the damn place. I haven't seen anything as gnarly as this neighborhood since downtown Atlanta, 15 miles back. I'm Sean. Sean Green. Lee, this is Clementine. I'm Chet. We shouldn't be out in the open like this. How about you help us clear the way, and we'll take you and your daughter out of here and down to my family's farm. It should be safer there. I'm not a dad. I'm... Just some guy. Some guy? Yeah. She's alone? Let's get going. Staying put for too long is a mistake. What do you want to do? I... The monster's coming. We gotta go. Lee, quick. Let's go. Why isn't that... You get For just some guy, it seems like you saved a bunch of lives today. Hey, Sean, I'm gonna run on home. My mom was gonna be in a snit. No sweat, man. I'll catch you tomorrow night. It was nice to meet you both. Thank God you're okay. I was worried it'd be bad here, too. Been quiet as usual the past couple days. Old Brecken down the way thinks his mare's gone lame, but that ain't nothing new. I wouldn't have made it back without Chet. Well, I'm glad you took him with you then. You've brought a couple guests. Your boy's a lifesaver. Glad he could be a help to somebody. So it's just you and your daughter then? 
Oh, not his daughter. He's, well, just some guy who found her alone. Honey, do you know that this man? That doesn't sound like a pedophile at all. Yes. Okay, then. Well, looks like you hurt your leg pretty bad there. Uh, yeah, it's not doing so good. I can help you out. Sean, run on in and check on your sister. Before, you, like, take a seat up on there. the porch and I'll go see what I have. So if I continue this, like, yeah. Don't judge me. Let's have a look. Yeah, this is swollen to hell. Hey, don't touch me. Could be worse. That's what it sounds like. Seems like things got awful bad in the cities. What did you say your name was? Bunch of leg humpers everywhere. It's Lee. Nice to meet you, Lee. I'm Herschel Green. How'd this happen? I don't even remember. Car accident. Car accident. That's so. Where are you headed before the car accident? I was getting out of Atlanta. The news says stay. Yeah, well, that's a mistake. We hit a guy. One of those things you've been hearing about. On the road. Who are you with, the girl? I was with a police officer. He was giving me a ride. Awful nice of him. I'm an awful nice guy. House is full up with mine. We got another displaced family of three sleeping in the barn. You and your daughter are welcome to rest there. When we're done here. Ah, oh, man, I wanted to... I didn't catch your name, darling. I don't like people. Clem Clementine. Can't imagine what you've been through, Clementine. Um, looking after her until we, uh... My bad, sorry. Did find her parents. Hey, Dad, so I'm thinking, first thing tomorrow, we gotta reinforce the fence around the farm. That doesn't seem necessary. I don't know what you saw on TV or heard on the radio, but there's some serious... Shit, hitting the fan. I don't think anyone knows how big it is yet. Clear <laughs> face. Your son's right. You're gonna want to fortify this place. Stuff like that doesn't happen around here, Sean. Dad, I'm serious. Lee, come on. Tell him what you saw out there, man. I got chased by a couple of dead people. Well, do what you think you should. We got plenty of chores as it is. Lee and those folks in the barn can help out in the morning. We gotta do it. Really. I already said okay. Well, I'm all done here. It should start to feel better tomorrow. You're Thanks. Bitch of an asshole. If your leg gets hot or the swelling doesn't go down, you're probably dealing with an infection. Well, what do we do then? We'll probably just have to shoot you. We'll Not clean it, redress first. it, and you'll be fine. Okay, that'd be preferable. There's blankets and such in the barn. We'll be seeing you bright and early. Come tomorrow, which way you think you're headed? Towards making, I suppose. Or I killed my wife. All right, then. I don't know. Either a guy or it was his wife. Probably gonna go with another guy. It smells like... Shit! Oh, what do you know? <laughs> Manure. Manure? Don't like around. when a horse plops? Just like that. I mean, when he takes a shit? God damn it. I missed my mom and dad. Yeah, I understand. It's okay. I bet, Clem. How far is Savannah? Pretty far. Oh, okay. Did you fall asleep that fast? No one can do that. I can't even do that. I love you, baby. <laughs> Get up. Who the fuck are you? I'm itchy. Well, you slept in a barn, little lady. Lucky you don't have spiders in your hair. <gasps> but I bet your daddy scared them all away, huh? I'm, uh, not her dad. 
Name's Lee. I'm Kenny. Dad, we're in the middle of fence. There's a tractor and everything. Learn how to speak. We better get going, or we won't hear the end of it. That's my boy, Ken Jr. We call him Duck, though. Where do parents name their kids Duck? We're from Fort Lauderdale. We were on our way back before things up and went bananas. My bad. I don't even know what happened. The word is, you were on your way to Macon. My family's from there. Well, Macon's on the way, and personally, I'd appreciate the company of a guy who can knock a couple of heads together if he has to. What, is it because I'm black? Because I'm black? I'll see what the girl would like. Ah, gotta consult the missus. I understand. Honey, Duck, this is Lee. And, uh, what's the girl's name? Clementine. Clementine. That is a very pretty name. Thanks. Well, we should get to work. We've all seen what those things can do out there, so the faster we get this fence up, the better. I want to build a fence. Fuck you. Yeah? Well, I need a good foreman. You can sit on the tractor and yell at me whenever I take a water break. On the tractor? Cool! Duck and I will hop to it. Are you kidding? You're sick. I can keep an eye on your little girl here on the porch. We can visit. Oh, fuck. Oh my god. I don't know what if... Oh, I'm tired. Dun, dun, dun. Who? You should check on everyone you've met. Seems like those two are getting along. He seems like an all right dude. It's not the most reliable pickup in the world, but it gets the job done. Cut is good with her. This is a poor excuse. Sean's still working on that fence. No shit. Hey, Lee. Need a hand? That'd be great. If you could cut those two bys to length, that'd sure speed things up. What length? My dad doesn't know how bad it is. No, he doesn't. I saw a guy in Atlanta kill a kid. A boy. Just shot him right in the face. Was the boy one of the walkers? I don't even know. He was either attacking the guy or asking for help. He didn't even hesitate. He just turned, put the barrel of the gun right between the kid's eyes, and pulled the trigger. You don't see things like that. It's not like in the movies. They don't fall like you think. Did you have to do it? Do what? Kill. Have you had to off one yet? Oh. Poor girl's brains in. Whoa. Uh, I couldn't do that. I'm just glad we're getting this fence built. Dad just wants to keep the family safe and thinks inviting people in is a bigger threat than whatever's out there. How about yours? How's your family? Well, whoever they are, wherever they are, I hope they're okay. Thanks. That's probably all I need cut for now. Thanks. Sean's still working on that fence. How you Shit. doing, Duck? Good. I'm going to drive the tractor. I'm the foreman. Lift with your back, Sean. Don't wave to him. Now what do I do? Hey there, girls. How did you handle getting through the city? Kenny just drove. 
We passed so many people that needed help, and we just passed people over some. Just, just... Uh, it's okay. It's fine. You don't have to say anymore. I want to go home tomorrow, but even then I can't take away the things we... the things Doc went through. Don't you want to go back to the moment before you knew about all of this? Anybody in their right mind would. Families and barbecues and beers with good friends. All of those things. Those are the things we Don't live for, right? With those like gone, that. what's the point? <laughs> back in a bit. Okay, Lee. Ha. Bar. No one. God damn it. It's actually a piece of shit, but Hall's all right. <laughs> hey there, uh, Kenny. Need any help? No, I think I got it. Do you need any help? What do you mean? I mean in taking care of that little girl. You know what you're doing? You got kids of your I own? Like that. I think I've got it handled okay. As long as I keep her safe, I uh, think I'm doing all right. With those things out there, maybe, sure, that's enough. But you gotta ask yourself if you're the type of guy who can do better than that if her parents don't show up. I'll keep that in mind. So what's your family's plan? Get back on down to Lauderdale and let this mess get sorted out. Government will start handing out shots and the National Guard will do its thing. On the odd chance things got too bad, we could... Hop on my boat, I guess. You've got a boat. I'm a commercial fisherman, catching mackerel, dolphin, whatever's biting and paying. Katya wouldn't be wild about it, but the boat's not that bad. See you. Hey, someone's in the dick. How'd you get out of Atlanta? I got a ride and then I was in a wreck. I walked until your boy found me. Hmm. Well, you're no worse for wear. Uh, this farm's a nice plot of land. Huh. <laughs> Had you told me 20 years ago I'd still be doing this, I would have told you that you were full of crap. Never was a plan, having a place like this. It was in the family, and I guess so was I. Family's important. That's all that matters. You agree with that? Was brought up to, yes. Where's your family now? Parents? Wife? Girlfriend? No wife. Uh, not anymore. I uh, think she's up in Virginia, maybe. Sorry to hear it. But now you've got this little girl to take care of. Clementine, is it? You just stumbled up on her? Eighteen minutes, Jesus. I was being attacked and she came to my rescue. Hmm. Can I give you a piece of advice? Sure. I don't know who you are or what you did. Let's say things don't get better back in the cities, or they get worse before they do. You're going to have to depend on the honesty of strangers if you're going to make it. And if those same people get to questioning yours, you're gonna be in trouble. But at least you have the common sense to listen to a man giving you advice. Go! I'll get my gun!
No, alright, whatever, I don't give a shit. My leg is stuck! Get off of me! Fuck! It's crushed! Move this thing! I got you! Eddie! Help me! stitch you up it, it almost it almost got me man it, uh, Lee tried to save me I know son I uh... Uh... Get the fuck out of here! I'm sorry. Sorry? Your son is alive. You don't get to be sorry! You tried to help him, but this piece of shit let him die. You can't blame Kenny. The hell I can't. You watch your back. We can kill us your daughter and you need his help. Please, just go. Get out and never come back. I can't believe that piece of shit. You've got that ride to make it if you want it. episode of The Walking Dead.